Certainly won that first <laughs> header there against uh, against Canis Carroll. Yeah, uh, yeah it is. So I think yeah. they I think they're going to know come five o'clock that they've been in a match if they've got ninety minutes of Timmy Babalola. Yes. So Carroll playing it easy across the back. Out he goes, goes out wide back to Carroll. Chip forward there towards the number eighteen, Williams Bushel. Still holds the ball right in the corner. But that's good work there from the Beavers to make sure. But it's quickly taken through to Ashby. It ends up in the hands of Mark Smith. Intercept that pass, but can't keep the ball. That's the City looking to come forward again. But that's again good work in midfield by Whittingham. The ball ends up at the feet of Tommy Block. Adisha Kumbi now with the ball in midfield. Crossed halfway. Keep coming forward, coming forward quickly. He's got through the centre. Plays the ball out wide to Illich. Illich on the edge of the box on the near side. Tries to get the cross in. It goes out for a corner to now with a cross field ball over to this near side towards Williams Bushel. Good work there from Hampton, from Reece, from Rory Donaldson. Rory Donaldson managed to keep quick, keep the ball. Comes off an Oxford City player. He's got a player out wide. It's Cohen Cohen Brown. He's just got the number 15 inside to him. Tries a shot, but he couldn't. It looks like it could be Josh Ashby. Again, it's a quick one play down the channel, but that's a good take there by Mark Smith. So Smith with the free kick hits it long to again towards Babalola. It's a bit of a look, you could almost say there was a bit of a nudge in there, but it's fallen to Illich. Babalola into the box, hits Ooh. the shot, and it goes over the bar. Shot away, but then it came to Babalola, unfortunately, his shot didn't quite uh, connect with properly in it. Ball still in play from a long goal kick from Dudzinski. Lola thought he had it and balls back across the box and that's great defensive work there and looks up by Terrell Miller Rodney coming back and, and in it goes to the near post it's cleared away and it ends up with Bushel Williams tries the shot and it's well over the stand it did Ashford City with the ball in the corner trying to bring it forward good work there from Donaldson to win the ball and trying to get it away it comes clear but Illich does some great defensive work too with the ball and keep it. He really needs to clear the lines now and wins the throw in off the number five Burley. Just crossing the halfway line, Oxford City. Seeing lots of red in front of them and not much in the way of space. Zach McKeppen in the centre to his base out wide to Williams Bushel. Williams Bushel trying to get the best of Rory Donaldson. Oh, I'm not sure about that penalty. I'm not sure about no, that. I am seriously not sure about that penalty. Looks like it was, to all indications, it was a clean challenge, and the player just went down as a result of his of his momentum. And it's looking like Mark Smith's ready for this. And he's got the run there, and if you can tell, Lola put it in the back of the net. Well, it was a good penalty from Lola, sent Mark Smith the wrong way, but a shot to the bottom right hand corner of the net. But that penalty shouldn't have happened. Drew Donaldson won the ball there, and he's having a couple. Thought about getting the right foot up to it, but to them to defend now. Coyle plays it inside to McEachern, but that's good work there from Rory Donaldson. Plays the ball out wide to Connor Cohen Brown. Tries to pick down glide towards Jake Grave. Number 19, Can. Carroll. Ball plays now to Shakumbi at the edge of the box. He's under, under some pressure there from the number 18, Williams Bushel. Oh, good but play. It's, it's good play there. Donaldson plays the ball. Right, finds Gray. Jake Gray can't keep hold of the ball. Referee lets play continue. And it goes. Tommy Block's not coming forward to this one. So quick throw towards Babalola. Babalola in, inside the area. Comes back out to Connor Cohen Brown. Cross to the back post, Illich is on there, he gets oh. his, his head on that, and that's fumbled there by Dudzinski, but he falls on it at the second attempt over the line or to a Hampton player. Yeah, it almost came out of nowhere, but I'd say that's been Hampton Richards' best chance of the game. Where Oxford City are driving forward now. Driving very quick, it's McEachern. Oh. It's, a great, it's a great shot there from McEachern, it's saved there from Smith. Back to Coyle. Going forward, shot there from the number, oh! shot there from the number four Ashby, and again Smith has to throw himself this time to his right. He's trying to come down the Hampton left on the edge of the box. There's a wall of red shirts there, making sure that 
there isn't an easy way through. McEachern plays it back to the number eight fleet. Yes. It's good work there for, for City, plays it into the box. Oh. And Michio was there lurking at the back quarter, City still coming forward. Ball played for for Lolos, could have been offside. That's a quick ball in there to Burley, Burley across to the back post, Lolos is there. Good to say there for Mark Smith. Header there from Lolos, and Smith just got a hand onto it, push it onto the bar. But long ball out to the far side, Woods, Woods on the edge of the box looking to come inside. But there's a good challenge there from Carroll just to move forward. Back to Harrison, a good tackle there from Donaldson. He's got the ball there at the edge of the box. Play's continuing, it's with Shakumbi, Adi Shakumbi. He's got the ball on the goal line, he's got three blue and white shirts around him. Can't do anything with it, and it's going to be a corner to the Beavers who's around a little. So it's going to be Gray with the corner. Hits it, that's a good corner. As bodies there, and it's hit the inside of the post and cleared off the line there by Oxford City. Hampton nearly had that one, but, but for the width of the post, that could have been the equaliser. Oh, I can't tell if it was an Oxford City defender or if it hit the post. But, oh, that was so close to going in. That was, keeper was beaten, Dean and then rose brilliantly. What a corner by Jake Gray, by the way. Indeed. Swung it in from the left. Oh, that was such a good chance as well. That's an in, man. Donaldson. Into the box again towards Wood. Doesn't get there. Header doesn't, doesn't find its target, but... Connor Curran Brown trying to get the ball into the box. The box is loose. Terrell Miller Rodney thinks about the shot, gets the shot, it gets deflected. It's trapped there in the box. There's definitely oh. lots of bodies in there. The referee has given the free kick, but it's not to the Beavers. It's a free kick to Oxford City. And that another what's another one that could be interesting on the highlights. Should we get it? Why to Curran Brown doesn't get there. Good, good work from Adi Shakumbi to pick that one up. Adi Shakumbi close to the touchdown, plays it inside to Wood. Uh, Jake Gray now with the ball inside to Illich. Stefan Illich keeps control of it. Curran Brown out wide. Curran Brown plays it into the box. The ball's loose, it's spinning around. And it ends up but the ball played into the back post. That's not for the keeper. The second ball comes back to Illich. Illich on the edge of the box gets the shot in. Oh, it just clears the bar. Oh, that was got for City again looking to come forward. It's with Lolos. Lolos beats Tommy Box. Good work there from Jake Gray in the centre there to slow things down. Hampton trying to get players back. Bushel, Bushel Williams. Yeah! Williams Bushel gets the second there for Oxford City. With, uh, in the 87th minute, it's Oxford City 2. And Hampton hit from Bullen Hill. Well, yeah, it looked like a goal was coming. <coughs> and unfortunately, the hands of the return, it's gone to Oxford City again. I think there are a couple of tired challenges in there, which is no surprise. And yeah, it was a good play by Aaron Williams, Bushley, cut inside. Never yeah, know if he can get a goal did, back. Did, you know, stranger things have happened. Ball forward from Terrell Miller Rodney. Doesn't fall to a Hampton player. It's cleared away by Oxford City, knowing the fact that they don't really need to do anything for these last four minutes. He will not rush about this. There's no real need of him to do so. He can take his time to clear this ball because we're down to the last handful of seconds here at Marsh Lane this afternoon. Hampton Richmond were not able to add to that victory at Tunbridge the other week. Well, the clearance is headed out to play there by Tommy Block and the referee decides that that is enough for this afternoon. And he's ended up here at Marsh Lane. Oxford City 2, Hampton Richmond were nil.